Welcome back, guys, to another episode of PNP Pints and Paints on a not Friday night. Uh, that's my bad. Uh, kind of dropped the ball. Had every intention of doing some filming in London and then uh, just got carried away with the gaming and the camaraderie. It was a great time. Uh, we had uh, Jordan, Tyler, George, myself, and Evan uh, out playing some games, so fun was had by all. Um, today's beverage of choice, gentlemen, is uh, just a rolling rock. I shouldn't say just, it's fantastic, magically delicious. Um, I did have some premium Pilsner picked out for this special episode, but uh, they are in London. I left them there, didn't even, didn't even drink them. Drank some other beer, but didn't drink those. So, we'll get those on the next one. Maybe one of these days we'll actually get something filmed in London. Um, we seem to just get uh, right into the game, which is awesome. That's what it's all about, right? It's having fun. So, I apologize for the delay, and I will do my best to uh, limit them. But, uh, you know, life gets in the way. So, uh, as stated previously, guys, we've got some special announcements this week. Um, while, uh, uh, while we had everybody together yesterday, we made one. I'm pretty excited about that, so I'm going to jump right into it and, and sort of tell you what's going on. So, uh, Evan has uh, joined officially the OHA. Uh, he's bringing a wealth of experience, uh, both in gameplay as well as organizing events. Um, his role at the OHA is basically going to be to help us bring forward at least a couple tournaments a year. Um, maybe more, depending on, on how they go and what the reception's like. Um... We will not be a formal league in any way. There's going to be no points. There's going to be no, I mean, there's going to be some fun prizes and stuff like that. But uh, we are in no way attempting to infringe on any league's thing. That's We have no interest in doing that. We just identify that some people like to play <laughs> in a competitive nature. And uh, we want to make sure that we're offering something for that. So going forward, Evan is going to be a big help. Uh, I know he's uh, he's organized a lot of events and, and helped at other major events and you know he's somebody that we think is really going to help uh, grow the OHA and, and sort of take it up to that next step. So pleased to uh, welcome Evan. Um, I got some pictures that we're going to put up at the end. Uh, George was actually awesome enough to uh, make him up an official OHA certificate which is sweet. Uh, so there'll be some pictures of that at the end. And, um, yeah, so we're, we're excited about that. There's some special details that are going to be coming forward later on as far as format, prizes, things of that nature. But uh, just know that there is going to be um, uh, at least a couple tournaments that are going to take place under the OHA banner. Uh, and we're really hoping that uh, some of you guys come out and support that. So uh, that is special announcement number one. So welcome, Evan, officially to the uh, OHA, whatever that means. Cheers, bud. But uh, I think it's it's a good thing for everybody. So welcome on board. Uh, special announcement number two kind of ties into announcement number one. Um, this is as far as the attendance to a convention. Um, so it is going to be KegsCon 2017. That is a uh, wargaming convention that takes place in Chatham, Ontario. Uh, in the southwest of Ontario, obviously. Um, so it's local to me, uh, pretty local to George, and uh, we're hoping that uh, some of you guys on the uh, uh, northern end are going to make the trip down because uh, we are going to be hosting an all-day SBG tournament at that event. Uh, so the dates for that are September 29th and 30th. The tournament is going to take place on the 30th. Um, tournament pack and, and everything of the like is going to be coming out shortly. Uh, admission to the tournament itself is going to be free. Uh, the only uh, cost that you are going to have to incur is paying your door, door fee to get into the convention. Uh, so the guys at Kegs, uh, which I am a party to, uh, were kind enough to offer up some space for this and we're hoping that we can help uh, help get some guys through the door and uh, support. There's going to be some terrific vendors, similar setup to like Hotlet. It's a full wargaming convention that covers sort of everything. Um, so there's going to be vendors there, there's going to be terrain stuff. It's usually a pretty good convention, guys, so uh, hopefully you're interested in that and you want to come down. Again, that's September 30th with an all-day tournament. You can come down and stay on the 29th. We're going to be doing sort of a uh, 
scenario beer and pretzels game on the Friday night as sort of like a primer to the convention uh, for those of us that are or for for those that are coming from out of town. Um, I live locally and I still get a room uh, at the Retro Suites. Uh, that's where the convention is being held. If you haven't heard of it, take a look at it. It is a stunning facility. Um, shocking. You're going to be shocked when you see the quality of rooms for it being in uh, in Chatham. Chatham is a pretty you know small farm town basically is, is the way I would quantify it. Um, the hotel's gorgeous. The rooms are fantastic. The venue is amazing. Um, the room is great. It's it's uh, well lit. It's clean. It's modern. Uh, there's a full service bar. There's uh, food, restaurant. Accommodations are upstairs. There are rooms blocked under Kegs Con. Uh, if you call, you can get a deal on the room that way. Um, so they've got some rooms blocked off. But uh, basically, guys, it's it's going to be a great time. Uh, really great facility. The rooms themselves are all themed. So I mean, you can get like a Harley Davidson room, cowboy room. Um, you know, like a loft style. There's lofts. You, you can have like two bathrooms and a bedroom upstairs and a bedroom downstairs for those of you who want to split on rooms to save costs. Uh, they can accommodate what you need. So get a hold of them, book your stuff, come on down. Uh, again, we're going to look for confirmation uh, for attendance just so that uh, we can let everybody know and make sure that we can accommodate everybody uh, as far as uh, how many spots we're going to have available. So. All that information is coming shortly, so stay tuned to that. Um, I'm sure Evan is going to help us through that uh, adventure. As neither George or myself has ever organized a full-fledged uh, tournament before, uh, you know, lots of open days, demo games, stuff like that. Um, so that's uh, that's sort of where we're going. We are kind of planning on having a small demo table there, just in case there's new players that want to uh, that want to play and learn about the game. So we're still going to be pushing SBG the same way that the OHA always has. Um, so it's it's going to be a great weekend. So hopefully that's something that interests you guys. We'd love to see you. Love to have you come down. There's going to be some really cool prizes, uh, if I do say so myself. Something that uh, sort of a format that hasn't been done, I guess, uh, locally or or in North America. I don't think, uh, to my knowledge. But we're going to share more about that later. So. Unfortunately, you're going to have to come back and watch another episode of PNP. Maybe a couple, because I'm not going to tell you when I'm going to announce it. So, anyways, that's just me being selfish, trying to get views. But uh, uh, Fog is coming up this weekend, so that's Evan's event uh, in Guelph. Uh, sold out, lots of guys playing. Sounds like it's going to be a great time. He's been hoarding terrain and, and getting things ready, so that's, uh, that's awesome. Um, it's too bad I can't make it. I was really hoping to get out and meet some of the other OSBGL guys and, and sort of, uh, uh, you know, get to know guys, but <clears throat> not going to be able to do it. George is going to go, so that's great. And uh, it's going to be a good time. I'm uh, I'm happy for you guys and, and really wish you all the best of luck. Uh, July 22nd, the Battle of Glenwood. That's an event posted up on the uh, Facebook group. That is most definitely still a go. Um, again, everything is sort of weather dependent, uh, but again, depending on numbers, I can accommodate, you know, uh, uh, quite a few players in my house. Uh, it's just if we sort of spill over into that higher mark, it's going to be tough. But uh, it looks like everything's going to be good to go. So that was 750 points if you're bringing an army. There's going to be scenarios available to play for those of you who don't either want to bring models, don't have models, new players, etc. Um, beverages, uh, camping, and barbecue is going to be provided for lunch and dinner. And uh, this isn't going to just be your run-of-the-mill uh, hot dogs and hamburgers. Lunch, we may do hot dogs and hamburgers. I shouldn't, there's nothing wrong with hot dogs and hamburgers. I'm a big fan. Uh, excuse me. They are delicious, but uh, we're definitely going to do some, some good southern-style barbecue for, for dinner. Um, you know, so if you're a vegetarian maybe think about bringing your own salad because <laughs> there's going to be a lot of meat. Um, so that's great. Uh, again, outdoor screening of the Hobbit in the evening, bonfire, uh, just sort of a bring the community together, uh, try to hook some new players and uh, really, uh, in my opinion, demonstrate uh, just how cool and nice a lot of the people in this hobby are um, and show the newer players that, wow, you know, there's, there is a real community uh, aspect to this game. So, um, if you can come on down for that, uh, send us a message, 
just to let us know um, for those of you who have indicated they're coming send a message again just to make sure that, that we've got you down uh, just for logistics food accommodations all that fun stuff want to make sure that uh, we've got all our ducks in a row so um, we had another great open night last night where we did sort of the announcement with Evan and, and took some photographs and played some games and had some beers and it was uh, it was great it was a good time uh, I am still waiting on my chariot and goat riders not sure i think if they're not here by monday tuesday i will be calling the folks at forge world uh simply because it's been an exorbitant amount of time so that's unfortunate again another episode goes by where i can't show you the awesome chariot and goat riders but truth be told you guys are probably sick of seeing all that stuff anyways because everybody's vlogging it so um as far as a wrap up, I did get Dane completed for last night's event. Uh, for those of you following the Iron Hills painting tutorials, there will be more videos coming up. I had to get 12 of them done for last yesterday uh, for, for yesterday's event. Uh, so I didn't film the completion of those, but I still have the partially completed warband and I have two other full warbands. So rest assured there will be uh, sort of the conclusion to the iron hills painting tutorial um i did not do one for dane um simply because it was crunch time and i had to get him done so uh quite happy with how he, he turned out so i'm going to throw some stills of that up uh, at the end of the video as well just to show you what uh what i did with him so uh guys that's uh that's all i've got for you um we'll be doing another episode next week for sure without a doubt um, thanks for joining us. I uh, hope you're enjoying the segment. And uh, as always, cheers and uh, enjoy your hobby. We'll talk to you soon.